Yo, chat. What the fuck I'm looking at? It says, the problem, well, let me fix it. The problem with black YouTube. Bro, chat, black YouTube, that side of YouTube is like wicked. See, like, stuff like that. It said, rubbing my, rubbing my print on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What? Chat, what? Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? There's a nigga, problem. Freak ass YouTube, shit. Specifically, black YouTube. Black, black. YouTube sucks. It, it does. Black YouTube, ass. I feel like there's two sides. But chat, back in the day, in 2016, black YouTube used to be hit. I ain't lie. We used to watch Boy Fredo, uh, the Family Channels, all that. But now, all them butt and like everybody want to be streamers now, and they, they're all scamming, f or either fall off, or just, just like, or just change lanes to become an OnlyFans model. One side with these amazing content creators like. Oh my fault, sorry. Kenshin, Berlizzi, Berlin, AMP, and many others. Yes, and sir. This other side with these creators that don't care about their content at, at all. all. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube, and all their videos are just based around sexual uh, things. What the One fuck? side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make, and the other side is like that two dollar McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes, but the next day you feel like absolute. It's kind of like yeah. yin and yang, you know. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about that other side of Black YouTube, the terrible side. <laughs> The awful side of blacks YouTube that we used to watch. It was cool. They used to make fake beefs and all. We used to watch it. Don't act like I didn't watch it. When it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea. You For know? real though. There always has to be, be a stream. Kind of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal truth or dare. It For has real. to be, it can be sexual. Freaky. freaky. Oh my god. You can't god. just go on a blind date. It has It'd to be, be a freaky, freaky blind date. date. The other day, I literally seen a video titled, I put my freaky ass parents on a blind date. The we are fuck? getting to the point in content creation where we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be freaky. That your mom and your dad is getting freaking in front of the child just to make some content? Holy, y'all, that? No, man, come on. We desperate for content, but not that desperate. It is absolutely weird, if I'm being honest with you. Another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20v1s. These I swear, bro, the it's... black community harder than crack in the 80s. Bro, like, it's like fitting on right now going berserk. I see number just 20 versus 1 and 2. Like, bro, come on, can we? It always with the same females, too. Chat, it'd be the same females in those game shows. I'll tell you how many black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life out of oh, 20 they milking us. Now, if you don't know what a 20v1 is, well, it's basically like a speed dating show where 20 people speed date that a person. And dashy? by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people. Well, I'm pretty then. sure this video idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized yeah, I used to watch Simon, Jubilee. And Jubilee got ass. just took it by storm. Now, don't took get me over. wrong. There are some genuinely funny 20v1s out there. I and then you got channels out here. Simon. Are posting 20v1s every single week. For example, No Love Mar. Now, Ooh. if you don't know who No Love oh, Mar yeah, is, do. well, he's, he's a pretty big rappers, black yeah. YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers. But when you take a look at this man's channel, basically yeah. all of his videos are 20v1s. I wouldn't God, be surprised damn. if this man changed his name to Cupid, the way he's helping out everyone find love. I wouldn't Find's be surprised if this man did a 20v1 with the whole entire United States for his <laughs> next video. Honestly, I at swear, this point, bro, that'd be this funny. Man should put me in a 20v1 to help me find some action. Like, come Before on. Cheats. Hey, get me on that awesome cheats, gang! Hey, give us some cheats! This man is so obsessed with 20v1s that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20v1 with Krishan Rock and he wanted to do that idea first. I mean, there's literally a Y'all getting violent for the 20v1? Pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage, so... Yo! <laughs> Oh, they fighting. Y'all lame just for some content? Y'all getting physical for some content? Bro, it's never that serious for some YouTube content, my nigga. Y'all, it's YouTubers. Stop it. Number one, what happened him, to nigga? shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the Snaggletooth demon Krishan Rock? That woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, nigga, why she are a you not jumping <laughs> other YouTubers? Because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just what be more fuck? creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine if Voice Critical got to a topic before me and i fought him because of that isn't that the <laughs> stupidest thing ever? yes bro don't Just fight moist and what's even worse is that before moist every lit. shout out to moist this man does he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get seven well i told you chat i told him most of the black community from the, that side of youtube the black side of the other one not the other lit one these niggas be scammers 
They all they do is scam. Like they from Atlanta. I'm about what your cash fucking, app from clicking the that link in the description. Cash but you don't. It just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all of those tedious surveys and get, shit and from get nothing from them. Probably I mean, a virus. The entire videos on YouTube exposing these scams. He gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking Promo, the link. Duh. But you as a viewer, you get nothing uh, because I mean, why would Cash App just give you seven dollars? They would be viruses. broke if they just decide to do that. It just shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is. But I'm pretty sure I would never do that. Chat. I would never do. We also like have that. this other YouTuber right here named Real X Sean, and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20 v ones. I mean, nothing really else. But this no, man no, also no. he spams that link in the description with that $750 cash app that you're never gonna get. And then you got another 20 v one YouTuber right here named Ryan with the sauce, and he also no, he, that uh, link he had boosted too with that $750 like that cash app. And what's also crazy about these 20 v one YouTubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them. The only difference Dang. is the people in the put the sauce in their videos are all the same. The editing is all the same. Damn. Hell, even the freaking personalities of all these YouTubers. Are all the same. <laughs> even the freaking scam in the video. They're all the doing the same. Is... $750 Let them hustle, cash. chat. Even the Let scam them hustle, in the game. Video is the exact same. These the dudes same. are literally made in a freking laboratory, bro. Like they're just printed every single freaking. Week. They're the same. Like, new up like we're us the same. YouTuber. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20 v ones, which is very sad. Mm. You guys that don't know, there's this rapper named La Tyler, and he's 17 years old, and the YouTuber No Love. Mar, he made a video with La Tyler. He made a 20v1, and it's fuck. disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. How you feel about sex on the very night? I don't think huh? that, like, if both of y'all vibing with each other, you peep the vibe. We grown. We grown. He not grown. He's 17. There's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17-year-old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not Look even it, better out of high school. What yeah. Mean, is he husband material? That's just me. odd. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day, if you sleep with a 17-year-old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20 mm, some ash. Well, that's a little boy there with Lil RT, and for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine-year-old rapper, but he's not like the main character in these 20 v ones. He's like that little assist character that you have in freaking Mortal Kombat when you spam. L oh yeah, he I mean, like he a helper right though. Here, there's literally a video called "I Found Love from the Help of Lil RT." Why do you need a nine-year-old to help, to help you get some coaching? You also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT, and he's Bro, they try to be like DDG, like, leave that nigga alone. Basically, promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally. Literally did a video named Lil RT swipes 20 guys for his mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just what the f yes what yo mom oh my god bro bro yeah so many all black folks don't have no like like what I call it some like soul like some of y'all just don't have soul at all like some things is you can't just do it with your parents my nigga this is one of them. Just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. Nigga, we do that, we get a fucking throat punch, chop, huh? my chump, pistol, missile He's punch. If we cuss the fun on the parent first in front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this video today. Nigga, get hit by a vehicle. But yeah, I just find it odd how these guys literally have videos, and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face to face smasher passes, which I swear, yes, chat. I remember that. Bro. If you don't know what this is, well, it's a bunch of grown adults getting smashed lines, one by one. They basically go through these lines and say smash or pass, pass to the nigga, yeah. right in front of. It's pretty sad when you really think about it if i had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes i'm not gonna lie i probably wouldn't even make it through i would lose freaking all my brain cells by my teacher spans like a goldfish yeah that's a lot style of content with black youtube that's pretty stupid in my opinion very i mean imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass oh, and like baby. i said earlier a lot of black youtube their content just revolves around just extremely horny content public yes. interviews i mean you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing oh Find that's basic match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff. Yeah. Overall, my problem with black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying off each other and yeah. expecting to become the biggest black YouTuber of all time. It's with zero going. originality. Yeah. Which is I mean, you gotta crazy. have. And number two, all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on. Well, them. And then once these kids click on them, they're just going to freaking promote these little scams. See, and man, chat, you gotta be different. And like, look, bro, like, this scamming in front of the kids and showing that. This is supposed to be how life is. Is no, bro. You gotta be different. You gotta shake some cheeks or something, bro. You gotta just be different, my nigga. Have a little personality, a little seasoning. You drink sanitizer or something, like, bro. You gotta be different, bro. Be different.
apps and stuff like the $750 cash app scam just so they can get paid. Overall, black YouTube is just down atrocious right now. Down bad. It's honestly sad to see, bro. But yeah, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. If you guys I this video, appreciate I you, my nigga. If you guys check out my most recent video, it'll be somewhere up here on the screen. The but yeah, with all that being on? said, thank you guys for watching. It's Cameron, and I'm out. Okay, Cam. Hey, I like it, bro. You like to make all to him, bro. Chat, but but for real though, like back the black community f content, the black people YouTubers became butts. Like they, they lost their touch. They, was, they all they do is bots. It's sad. Like they don't got no soul. They like soulless. Shit. But check. See you. <laughs>